Brought to you by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset. Advanced Bose technologies let you focus on what matters, flying. And by the Aspen Evolution Flight Display. Aspen, a new way to look at avionics. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from a very chilly AirVenture 2013 where everyone likes to complain about the cost of flying, but Redbird, uh, they're the simulation people, have finally decided to do something about it with a new project they call Red Hawk. Now basically what Red Hawk is, is a remanufactured Cessna 172. They're taking a not that old 172, stripping it down to its underwear, putting on new paint, new upholstery, and new avionics, and fitting it with a Centurion diesel from Continental. Here's Roger Sharp to give us some details on it. At the heart of this experiment is, do we have an airplane that is really a legitimate, good airplane to learn how to fly as the, as the 172 has always been, and how we can make this more affordable so flight schools can actually uh, train economically? This is the experiment. Um, if another aviation manufacturer wanted to do that, we wouldn't be doing it. So we're here to try and prove the concept. And we have some programs for leasing um, in the future that are going to come up that are going to make this very attractive, I think, for flight school operators to get people back into flying again. Well, the heart of this conversion is the Continental turbo diesel engine. And um, not only do you reduce the maintenance cost because it is so much more simpler uh, or simple to, to maintain than the traditional piston engines, but the fuel burn is about half of what you would get from a similar piston engine. Uh, for example, um, we were getting uh, typical 115 true airspeed at 9,000 feet on the flight up, burning 4.9 gallons an hour on the engine. And we're really looking forward to see um, how this is going to pan out, you know, in a flight school environment, but that's what the experiment is about. The uh, paint scheme with the applications are designed to get people to stop and look at the airplane so that we can start answering questions about economics of flight training again. So it's designed to bring the audience in and to uh, to attract that kind of attention. What we've done is taken a 2002 version 172, uh, completely stripped, repainted, re-interiored, re-engined, and re-avionixed as part of this project. And while we don't know what the uh, final cost is going to be on this, we're really trying to get uh, this project so that people can get this airplane for sub $200,000. And that's our goal. We're working on some manufacturing processes now to try and uh, do that more economically, and that'll be part of our experiment as well and how we can produce these a little bit more efficiently than the first one. Well, this is the panel of the aircraft, and we wanted an economical way to not only get the, the full performance features of glass, and our partners at uh, Aspen Avionics did that for us. So we have a, uh, a PFD and MFD combination here, and we also have the traditional gauges because we believe that it's important that students learn to train on both of those aspects, particularly the instrument phase of training. One of the unique things about the panel you see is the, the uh, throttle lever is gone, and you notice a single lever power control. It's a uh, FADAC engine with a constant speed propeller, and it's all driven through a computer behind the avionics panel, so all you have to do is use the single lever power control from idle to full power. It takes care of everything for you. The Red Hawk project was flown into Whitman Field by EAA Chairman Jack Pelton on Sunday afternoon. And as former CEO of Cessna, Pelton is no stranger to diesel projects. In 2007, Cessna proposed its own Skyhawk project with a diesel using the Teeler 2.0. And we asked Pelton what Cessna's data showed as far as operational cost reductions over a conventional gas engine. It was in the 15% range uh, improvement, which, you know, in most aviation interests, whether it be whether you're trying to fuel, fuel burn efficiencies, it costs 15% is significant. I mean, that's a, a big, uh, a, a, yeah, I don't want to say it's a, a full game changer, but it's enough to make a significant market impact difference. So anywhere you leave the U.S. when you're actually completely, essentially dependent on, on Jet A or a diesel solution, because there is either no Hunter Low Lead or the price of Hunter Low Lead, it's so expensive that it's almost prohibitive. It really opens up the world. And, and that was probably one of our biggest concerns is there's the flight training need in other places in the world and there was no solution. We didn't have a solution uh, because we didn't have that diesel engine and we thought this was going to be a way to start feeding those markets. And I, I mean, I believe with what's being done here, you look at the flight academy needs in, in for example, China, Indonesia, any of those areas, uh, 
this is a home run solution. Brought to you by Phillips 66 Aviation, the most trusted wings in aviation. And by Jefferson Mobile Flight Deck VFR. See the difference at AirVenture 2013.